Britain's Dyson surprised the auto industry this week when it said the company's first electric car would be built in Singapore. But why? It's been nearly 40 years since a car ever rolled off a production line there. Land prices are a premium in the Southeast Asian city-state and costs are sky high. Dyson CEO says it's closer to big Asian markets. China is a major, a major automotive market, the major automotive market you could argue globally. So we need to take that very seriously. But why not build in China, like Tesla's doing? Reuters Aradhana Aravinda says it's becoming a crowded market and intellectual protections aren't as strong. Experts say Singapore has strong policies regarding intellectual property rights, whereas there may be a few more concerns in China regarding those. Um, also in China, experts have pointed to the risk of overcapacity in the electric vehicle market. The government there, in fact, has removed tax breaks for about 2,000 electric vehicle car designs. Singapore, meanwhile, has a free trade agreement with China and is well placed to source components from across Southeast Asia. Uh, the government offers many tax breaks and incentives for companies to be here. Uh, Singapore has a large English-speaking, talented uh, workforce, skilled workforce, and uh, it has a very large port which makes it easy to ship your car from the factory to its market. That would be crucial, as not many sales would be driven from the local market. Singapore is one of the most expensive places in the world to own a car, due to government regulation of vehicles. A 400-strong team has been working secretly on Dyson's multi-billion dollar electric car project. No designs have been seen yet, but Dyson says it will not be like anything else on the market.